Hey, what's going on everyone? Model Deer Farmer back with you today, and today I want to give you guys an intro into a project that I really want to work on here on the channel. That's going to be building a 1 16th scale tractor pulling tractor. Now, if you guys are familiar um, with any tractor pulling leagues, the tractor pulling league this is around where I'm at, is the Outlaw Truck and Tractor Pulling Association. So those are the kind of tractors we're talking about here. Probably about simple, about the same to a um, Pro Pulling League tractor or an NTPA tractor. I don't know for sure if they have the class. I'm pretty sure the Pro Pulling League has the class um, that I'm going to make this tractor into or try to make it about seem like. Um, I don't know if the NTPA does. I would assume they probably do. But we have this John Deere 7710 body here. And we're going to kind of bring this a little more front and center. This is a John Deere 7710, just a normal Ertl tractor body right now. Now, this used to be like just, just any other tractor, just a normal farm tractor. But the thing is, when I was younger, I busted the cab off of it. And so it was an open station, 7710. So I eventually decided that I wanted to turn this into a pulling tractor um, because I thought it'd be really cool to build something like that. And so this is the frame we have. I've taken the, most of the paint off of it with paint remover. Some of this paint I might have to take off with a Dremel yet or something. But this is what we're working with here, and we're going to try to make um, a 9,500 pound 4.1 limited pro stock tractor. So if you're familiar with tractor pulling tractor classes, that is the class we're going to be making it. This is my favorite class um, of tractor pulling tractors, the 4.1 limited pro stock. So that's what we're going to be basing it off of here today. So... A couple things, um, I'll show you guys some more of the parts we have. We have these 24.5 um, width tires here, pulling tires with the aluminum chrome rims. So I think those will look pretty good on it. We have a set of them, so we'll get those put on there eventually. Um, they're looking pretty sweet. And honestly, a lot of these parts I bought a long time ago, and so I really wasn't paying attention much when I bought these front tires. These are front tires that I bought. Let's take those out for now. With chrome front rims. And to be honest, like I said, didn't really pay attention when I bought them. These are very narrow front tires. More of what I think about when I see... A super stock tractor. Super stocks seem to have narrower front tires, kind of like this. I might eventually get a little bit beefier of a tire because um, normally these limited pro stocks have five rib, um, four or five rib tires, and these are threes. So I might get something different eventually, but we'll kind of just have to see as of right now. These are just nails that I uh, cut shorter, which I thought were going to work, but. They have a little bit wider part up here by the head to attach the uh, front wheels, which then it sits out like that, and it looks kind of ugly. So I don't like that, so we might have to figure out something else. If you guys have any ideas, let me know on those. Uh, I would appreciate that. Then moving on to this, we are not going to use the original front axle that came with the tractor. We are going to be using this pulling tractor front axle and skids because you have to have these skids on there in real life um so if your wheel breaks off the tractor doesn't just completely run on the ground um so this is a steerable front axle that i got from chucky's precision pullers and i'm really excited for it because it looks really good um it turns and everything which is awesome and then we can attach the wheels right there so i kind of just cut these nails to have right now so that's kind of what it looks like with one wheel on there. Um, 
I, I need to figure out something to actually attach them with the right way. But that's kind of what it's looking like. I think it's going to work out pretty good. We can turn it, everything. It's going to be awesome. It's going to be awesome once we get it actually attached. Um, I am going to need to spray paint it green because we are going with a green 7710 tractor. So that's another cool piece that I got here. We also have this uh, tank there. Um, I think it's used for fuel tanks. Um, yeah, we're going to say it is. Uh, we're going to, this is eventually going to go, um, we are going to cut the front weight bracket off. We're going to build our own kind of weight bracket that the weights stick out sideways. Um, on it, like how they are on a lot of those tractors. And then this is going to sit on top of it. We do have our steering column here, which I don't really have an idea for a steering wheel yet. Um, but I figured we'll just keep the stock steering column so it'll sit just right on there. Um, a little up about right there when everything's all said and done. So I think that should work out well. I do have these wheelie bars that we can attach to the back of the tractor once we are all done with that. Um, and then of course we have our big fender pieces, which I'm probably gonna cut down a fair amount. Um, I, I don't remember what my exact plan was with it, but they're gonna be cut down a lot because I think the tire, I want the tire to sit like right underneath them um, because that's how they are in real life. And um, that's not exactly how it would work with, with the way the frame is right now. So we do have two fenders. I was trying to figure out a way to just like cut a middle section out of this frame and move it up, but I don't want the back wheel sitting this far out. So what I'm, I've decided I'm gonna do is I'm gonna figure out what length of the body I want and then we're just going to chop the rest off, take some brass and cover the back part up. And then that'll be the back of our tractor. So we're just gonna shorten everything up. We're gonna cut the fenders up a little nicer to make them kind of smaller how they'd be on the real life tractor. And so everything should work pretty good there. Like I said, I am gonna cut that weight bracket off on the front. I already cut these little parts off that um, hold the old axle on there. So the new axle, We'll go on there. I just sit on top of there. I'm trying to remember. I think like if we put the front axle right there, pretty much as forward as it can go, I think that's supposed to look the best compared to pictures I've looked of tractors that are kind of similar like this that have been turned into tractor plane tractors in real life. So I'm relying heavily on those tractors, pictures of them in real life. So I'm really excited to get into this. I need a bigger um, cutting wheel with the Dremel to actually get um, a lot of this stuff cut off because it was kind of a pain to get that cut off with the size of one I had and it's still not great. But to cut through the entire body, we're gonna need something a little bit bigger. Um, so I, I think the first step is gonna be to cut this off and then cut this off and then kind of work on our fenders to get them sized up, put them where we want them and then we'll shorten up the body as we need to um, to figure out where that's gonna sit. Because originally these fenders sit like right there. I'm thinking more on the pulling tractor, it's gonna sit like up there further because you don't really want that huge break. You don't want the really long frame. So I think we're gonna cut this little step off right there and then that's gonna move, be moved closer towards the front of the tractor, which I think should work great. Um, I do still have a decent amount of paint that really was being a pain to come off of these. So we'll kind of have to see. Um, and kind of a visual look. So the fenders normally sit that far apart. I think we're gonna go more like that far apart, maybe even narrower. Um, so we're gonna compress it. We're not gonna make it like row crop. These things are skinny in real life and I want that skinny look on here. So we're gonna make them, make them narrower. But I just kinda wanted to give you guys an overview of this project today um, and kinda give you a heads up to what I kinda wanna get done with this thing in the future. Um, the rest of this summer and into the fall, maybe 
um, depending on how things go. I just need to find a bigger Dremel um, cutting wheel so I can really get going on this thing. And uh, that's really all that's stopping us because once we start getting the back of the frame all sized up to where we want it, it's really going to be smooth sailing from there, I think. That's going to be the toughest part is figuring out where we want it because originally the wheel is going to sit like all the way back there on the track pulling tractor. I'm thinking it's going to sit more like up here. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much all I got for this video today, guys. We hope you guys enjoyed. Keep following along on the channel to keep seeing this project progress. Um, but I hope you guys enjoyed. If you did, give it a like. Also, consider subscribing to the channel. Um, if you have any comments or questions, you can leave those down in the comment section below. If you have any better ideas of what to attach these front wheels to the um, front axle with, let me know down in the comment section also. But I hope you guys enjoyed. Thanks for watching. I'll see you all in the next one.